So I've definitely taken some inspiration from other collectors, namely uh, Miko or Vacuum Tests here on YouTube. And uh, I created um, a cyclone that will eventually be attached to my Kirby. I'm just waiting for some central vacuum pipe. A friend of mine will be bringing some up next month. And I figured, uh, you know, just to, to kind of show off the concept, I'll just attach the hose to it. So, as you can see, this is a dust deputy, which is just a cyclone used a lot in, like, woodworking. I've taken a, uh, I wanted something with a screw off top, but I needed something big enough to support the, uh, the flange here at the bottom, or whatever you would call that. And then, uh, this is a shop back filter. I found a shop back that wasn't working, and, um, yeah, I cut the, uh, cage off, and then I sealed it here with some silicone, and then I put some silicone under the, uh, the lip of the cyclone, too. Although it looks like that might have... Well, maybe not. But, anyways, I sealed the lid of the cyclone onto it with some silicone, and then I put some silicone under here to seal this, and, you know, so I can remove the filter and clean that out. Although I really doubt I'll be using this much. <laughs> I don't see it as a particularly valuable concept, because it's going to end up robbing some of the performance, and once I have the proper setup in place, we'll see how that uh, compares to the bag setup. But what I have planned for this is I have a, a G3 hose end that I cut that little lip off, so I can hopefully insert a piece of central vac tubing through here, and that will sit on the exhaust horn of the machine, and then I'll have a piece of tube coming up, a, an elbow, and then I'll have to connect it to here. And I'm thinking it might be a good idea to build some sort of support ring that kind of clamps onto the tube, just so it's not all hanging right here. But we'll see. <coughs> so obviously this isn't going to provide the best performance, you know, since we're squeezing all the air through, you know, this hose, but uh, I figured it'll kind of give us a little look at what this is supposed to do. So I'm going to do a little bit of vacuuming and then we'll check on this. I did empty this out beforehand, but there was a little bit of dust in there. So let's clean up a little bit and see what happens. I should mention that my carpets have not been properly vacuumed in a little while. Got the COVID booster recently that <laughs> took a lot out of me. Um, so I just went over it with a very kind of light cleaning machine. That way I figured there's something for it to pick up. So, yeah. Let's, uh, check it out. Oop! That's another problem with doing it like that. Oh well. Damn it. Well, this is gonna be fun.
Well, I can hear some stuff rattling around in here. <sighs> and it was, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly an ideal setup for it, I guess. I didn't really think about, you know, the... Ooh. Um... Hmm. Well, I mean, I suppose if air was escaping around the tape, which it most likely was, but still, ew. Um, I'm going to put this down for a moment. All right, so here's what we got inside the can. You know, we definitely got some of uh, the... some grit. Fur and uh, most likely some carpet fibers. A Little bit gets wrapped around the screws. Let's check the filter. Now clearly it wasn't used for very long. And, you know, I can't say for certain that none of the dust I'm seeing here wasn't on there before. I'm sure, you know, yeah, like that was definitely there before. But, uh, you know, I'm sure this isn't a very efficient setup, and we really didn't cover that much area. So we're probably not going to see much on this filter if we see anything at all. But, you know, a single cyclone is never going to be enough to capture everything. So it's always a good idea to have some sort of secondary filtration to it. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll work out a lot better once, you know, it's a much more solid connection with the PVC pipes rather than the hose. <laughs> um, but, yeah, once I get that set up, you know, then we'll take the airflow tests and see how much it lost, you know, moving to one of these. I've never really liked the idea of a bagless Kirby. It just doesn't make sense. You know, why would you want to go from the filter area of an entire bag down to the filter area of one of these? And not only that, but sending it through the cyclone, you're going to lose some of your performance. So, you know, I'd rather just have a bag to throw away and be done with it. But, you know, here's our little look at uh, my monstrosity, abomination, whatever you would prefer to call it.